Elon Musk and Warren Buffett how to invest during high inflation. When it comes to safeguarding oneself against the effects of inflation, Elon Musk and Warren Buffett have advocated for very similar solutions. The CEO of Tesla, Musk, tweeted that when there is high inflation, it is generally better to own physical things like a home or stock in companies you think make good products, rather than keeping your money in cash. Musk gave the example of a home or stock in a company that makes good products. The second part of his tweet is consistent with the investment guidance that Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett has provided in the past. In 2009, towards the tail end of the Great Recession, Buffett stated that the annual shareholders meeting of Berkshire Hathaway that owning a portion of a wonderful firm is one of the best ways to shield oneself from the effects of inflation. This was one of his first public comments on the topic. This is due to the fact that demand for the company's goods will remain stable regardless of what happens to the value of the dollar. As an example, he used one of his own investments. If you own the Coca-Cola company, you will get a given portions of people's labor for your product 20 years from now and 50 years from now, and it doesn't matter what's happened to the price level, he said, referring to the fact that people will still pay for the products they like. Throughout the entire winter, inflation has been steadily growing. The rise in consumer prices in the United States at 7.7% year-over-year is the greatest it has been in the last four decades. The price of gasoline was the first commodity to see a spike, followed by hotels, rental cars, and then furniture. When there is a higher rate of inflation, the value of cash decreases at a faster rate. Investing, on the other hand, typically results in a rise in value over time. Because of this, during times of high inflation, both Elon Musk and Warren Buffett advise investors to put their money into stable companies whose stock prices are expected to remain stable. However, it is essential to keep in mind that picking stocks may be a risky business and that even if a company has been successful in the past, there is no assurance that its stock will continue to rise in the future. Recently, financial advisor Delano Sapporu, chief executive officer of the New York-based New Street Advisors Group, was quoted saying, If you have too much cash, you are hurting yourself. However, picking stocks may be a risky business. And even if a firm has been successful in the past, there is no assurance that its share will continue to appreciate in the years to come. In this sense, many financial gurus like Warren Buffett advocate purchasing low-cost index funds. These funds have lower levels of volatility while still being able to capitalize on market gains. In addition, these funds are automatically diversified due to the fact that they hold all the shares in an index. In point of fact, the S&P 500 index has outperformed inflations over the course of the past several years. Companies on the index include Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft. In 2017, Warren Buffett advised investors to consistently buy an S&P 500 low-cost index fund. Don't stop purchasing it even when times are tough, but especially when they are tough, he added. Even though it's a simple step to take, not everybody does it. Even if low-risk indices, tips, and real estate are all wonderful investments, you shouldn't expect a single stock or assets to be able to solve all of your worries about inflation and economic downturns on its own. The current rate of inflation is having a significant impact on the economy. However, some sectors are being negatively impacted more than others, and this disparity is likely to shift over the next few months. Having a diverse investment portfolio allows you to better disperse your capital across a number of various markets. When one industry falters, it's possible that another will thrive as a result. And in the event that the economy as a whole was to improve and boom, having a broader investment portfolio could mean more rewards in time of prosperity. And when it comes to buying physical properties, Elon Musk is a big fan of it. He expressed his approval on Twitter of the practice of investing one's money in tangible goods such as homes. While Musk has been cryptic about his broader plans to combat inflation, he makes a valid argument about diversifying his holdings into real estate. Even if home prices are quite high right now, purchasing a home remains a wise financial move for those who are in a position to do so. That could mean making your first purchase of a home. Or it could mean converting some of your existing properties into rental units. Warren Buffett proposes taking a new approach, despite the fact that Arizona Ice Tea is notorious for its refusal to raise its pricing higher than 99 cents, despite rising production costs. If you want to follow Buffett's advice, you should look for businesses that have pricing power. This means 
that they are able to raise their prices in line with inflation without seeing a decline in customer demand. So that's all for today's episode. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're looking for more interesting content, then hit the subscribe button for future updates.